हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड हाउ टू ऑप्टेन इट सो लेट अस सी फॉर्मल डेफिनेशन ऑफ फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म इफ अ फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज डिफाइंड इन द इंटरवल माइनस इन्फिनिटी कॉमा इन्फिनिटी एंड इज पीस वाइज कंटिन्यूस इन ईच फाइनाइट इंटरवल and is absolutely integrable in the interval minus infinity comma infinity then the following integral is called the fourier transform of f of x and is denoted by capital f of f of x or simply f of s that integral is given by 1 by root 2 pi into integration of f of x into e raise to i s x dx over the limit minus infinity to infinity this is called as fourier transform of f of x Now let us see an example on this. Here the question is to find Fourier transform of f of x defined as k whenever mod x is less than a and defined as zero whenever mod x is greater than a. So it is clear from the definition of f of x that f of x takes value k in between minus a to a and it takes value zero beyond a. That is whenever x is greater than a or less than minus a f of x is 0 and whenever x is between minus a and a f of x takes value k so by the definition of fourier transform of f of x f of s is given by 1 by root 2 pi into integral of f of x into e raise to i s x dx over the limit minus infinity to infinity now we split this interval from minus infinity to infinity into three parts first part will be from minus infinity to minus a second part will be minus a to a and third part will be from a to infinity so f of x will take value 0 in the first and the last interval that is from minus infinity to minus a and from a to infinity so that integral in these two intervals will be zero so we will be left with only integral with limits minus a to a where f of x will take value k now all we have to do is to solve this integral so let us solve this since this k is constant you can take it out integration of e raise to i s x is e raise to i s x upon i s over the limit minus a to a let us substitute these limits in x this s is constant you can take it out so we have outside k upon root 2 pi into s and inside we have 1 upon i into e raise to i s a minus e raise to minus i s a now we will multiply and divide this by 2 so that outside we have 2k upon root 2 pi into s whereas inside the bracket we will have e raise to i s a minus e raise to minus i s a upon 2i but this is nothing but exponential representation of sin s a so we will replace this square bracket by sin s a so fourier transform of the given function f of x denoted by f of s is given by k by s into root 2 by pi into sin s a i hope you understood what is fourier transform of f of x and how to find it thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos